Toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Kansas tees up the ball as we get ready for the opening kickoff. He's to the 20. Oh, what a hit. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. taken down around the 37 yard line so they pick up quite a few yards on that play Kirk well that was an excellent route and he did a great job of holding on to the football from their own 37 yard line first down brought down after a nice run up the middle Ward gets about four yards on the play He's at midfield. Makes it out to about the 39. The option's one of the more difficult plays to defend. The defense went after the quarterback, which left the running back with plenty of room. From the 39-yard line, first down. run and he's brought down he's out of bounds at the 33 third down and four coming up on this one Ball on the 33-yard line. Brought down at the 29-yard line. Dennis picks up about four yards with a catch. I'll tell you, these guys just keep rolling down the field. The quarterback's looking very sharp on this drive. around the 32-yard line. Well, I think it's safe to say the defense had his number on that one. It can be very frustrating for a running back when he stopped before he even gets going. Here's the eighth play of the series. They go to the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. They'll line it up again on third down. A little toss across the middle. And down he goes at about the 21. It's going to be fourth and inches after that long pickup on third down. What a throw by the quarterback. Almost equally excellent catch by the receiver. But the defense topped them both by coming up with a stop. Kicks away, and he's got it. Kansas State is lining up to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Jayhawks offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing about, I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks. But the thing that I've really recognized is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up. 
Ball is loose. Fumble. And he's tackled at the 33-yard line. This offense can consider themselves very lucky to get this ball back. That's about as sloppy of an option play as you'll ever see. The timing and the focus are so important when trying to run this offense, and it looks to me like they just lost their focus there for a second. So it's second down and about two yards to go. They'll bring him down around the 30-yard line. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Tackle made around the 36-yard line. Well, it was third down, so they obviously had to get to the sticks, and they did just that with this little pass play. From their own 36-yard line, it's first down. You keep gaining negative yards, and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. Neal takes the give. He's tackled at about the 37-yard line. Third down again. Throws a bullet over the middle. He's at midfield. Tackle the 47 yard line. From the 47 yard line. First down. 26 Mike, 26 Mike. Ready. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. That makes it six and six. And this is the eighth play of the drive. They come out on an empty backfield. Wide receiver screenplay. He's taken down at the 37-yard line. From the 37-yard line, first down. And he tackles him hard at the 32-yard line. Pretty nice pickup here. These guys are getting very tight on their timing. Tenth play of the drive. Tackles him for a loss. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. They've been two for two on third downs in this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. And they get the sack. He has one job on passing situations, get to the quarterback, and he did that job very, very well on that play. Brooks is back awaiting the punt. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Kansas State is up by three. And he's taken down around the 25-yard line. From their own 25-yard line, second down. They 
They work the right side, and there is nothing going there. Wilson is back deep to return the punt. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He's out to the 30. Tackle at the 41-yard line. Here comes the offense. No doubt looking to take better care of the ball on this drive. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Now he's going to run and watch out. Brought down at the 48-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 48-yard line. the first down catch. Gains his way to the 26-yard line. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. Tries to buy some time. Dives for extra yardage. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Toss is out to the tailback on the screen. And he is drilled at the 12-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. This is the eighth play of this drive. Gets to about the five yard line. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. A long ways yet to go, but at the end of one, Wildcats with a three-point lead. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. This is the 10th play of the drive. He's going to try and scramble. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush, because sacks can be real drive killers. They're at the three. It's second down. 26, Mike. 
They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. He's scrambling, dives, and he's down. Here's the 12th play of the drive. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. They're going to go for the easy three here. Kansas is looking to tie things up. He gets it up, and he got it. Keller looks ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And down he goes at the 17-yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. On play action. Waits. Throws it to the outside. And they make the stop at about the 47-yard line. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. Two times, two times. Hands it to the back. He's brought down in the open field. And they get nice yardage on that run. They're about four yards away here on third down. Got it and brought down immediately. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. That's good for gaining three yards. First down. From the 40-yard line, it's first down. Green nine, green nine. Blue 20. And he's tackled after positive yardage. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Runs it and tackled in the backfield. Loss of two on the run by the halfback. From the 24-yard line, it's second down. Gets it out to him again. 
And he's hit before he can go anywhere. That'll make it third and one. Here's the 11th play of the drive. And they got him for a loss. Well, they're looking for another fourth down conversion. They've already gotten one this drive. They put everyone up on the line. And that sets them up with a first and goal. And this is the 13th play of this drive. And down he goes at the three. Second down and goal. Ball on the three. Defense stacked in tight here. And he hits him hard at the six-yard line. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. This is the 15th play of this drive. quickly and they got it touchdown a good football team has to consistently be able to capitalize when they're in the red zone He splits the uprights with the extra point. A long 15-play, 82-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. He's to the 20. At the 30. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 36-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He scrambled. And he's tackled at the 37. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 37. the draw play. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. They come out in a five-wide set. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Out of bounds around the 42-yard line. Bring him down at the 30. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Kansas State is up seven. Caught, and he's hit immediately. Second down and seven. Ball on the 32-yard line. Tight end grab. First down. They'll bring him down right around the 48-yard line. Miller makes the tackle at the 48-yard line. First down.
from their own 48 yard line first down. Throws complete and he's hit right away. And I think he's got a good rhythm going right now with his wide receivers. He hit him for a nice game. Get it on the counter and they shut it down. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. down now and they need to get it inside the 42. He's hit and taken down. Kansas State up seven points. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. That's just a great play to separate the ball from the receiver. He'll be feeling that hit tomorrow. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. Pressured and brought down. to the receiver incomplete this quarterback needs to give his playmakers a chance to make plays he's got to be sure he gets the ball in their hands let's see if he aims for the sideline and tries to get this thing down deep in their own territory gets it away wait a minute he's gonna throw and it's incomplete so they turn it over on downs and that's a big boost for this defense in a close game like this one it's big plays like this that can be the deciding factor Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Tackle at the 45-yard line. Jayhawks will use their first time out of the half. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Here's the give. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. About two yards there on that delayed handoff. The Jayhawks are going to call their second timeout. And this may be fourth down territory if they can't get a first down here. Neal gets a ball left side. They tackle him there, and he's still going to be short. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. He's on the run. He's at the 30. He's tackled at the 26. Well, we're headed to halftime now. We're seeing two defenses that don't want to give an inch. 10-3, Wildcats. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation, 
that excited. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. A tight, hard-hitting, low-scoring affair. Great hey, affair. This, this Great. Is right, you can say it like it is. This is right in your wheelhouse, Pollock. I mean, this, this is exactly in your comfort zone. No, I, absolutely. I mean, you like to see people flying around. You like to see defenses dictating to offenses and make them play on our terms. And it's it's fun to watch. It's something that as a great every great defense prides themselves prides themselves on tackling. You know, you didn't see very many missed tackles in the first half that led to big plays. And try to limit those big plays and when they do get down towards the red zone, make people kick field goals. And that's that's how you see dominant defenses year in, year out, and, and that's what we're seeing today. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you gonna do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm gonna kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Wildcats continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And he's taken down around the 30-yard line. It's second and five here. Ball on the 30. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Tackle made around the 45-yard line. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz. And the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. Push him out around the 50-yard line. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 50-yard line. Here we go. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. Here he goes. Brought down at about the 39-yard line. Taken down at the 41 yard line. That is a loss of two yards. That'll bring up second and 12. From the 41 yard line, second down. Throws it in a hurry. And they make the stop right around the 30. Inside the 10. What a play. Brought down inside the 5. First and goal from the 2. Let's see if they just don't try to power their way into the end zone here. Pitch, look out, loose ball. Picks up the loose ball. And I tell you, when the option works, it can be beautiful to watch. But when it doesn't, it can go horribly wrong. Not a good result for the offense. They're ready to begin another drive. Kansas State is up a score.
Ward takes the toss left. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Second and eight coming up here. Ball in the 25. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. And pick up. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 33. He threw that to a guy who was well covered and it almost got intercepted. Yeah, he's very lucky. That ball was only tipped. Black five, black five. Somebody jumped early down there. Ball start. Offense. You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. So it's second down and 15 after the penalty. Feeds it to the back. Nice run there. Ward gains about five yards on the run. That brings us third and ten. Kansas State is up by a touchdown. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 34. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. Booming kick. Wilson fields it at the 18. Tackle made at the 33-yard line. I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is, we still have such a close game despite how well they play. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Got an opening. Makes it to the 41. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Big opening. He's at midfield. He gets to about the 41-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. Up the middle. And down he goes. Around the 40-yard line. one yard. That brings up second and nine. Completely stopped immediately. They're about four yards away here on third down. He's pushed out of bounds at the 23. receiver and he's hit before he can go anywhere
First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Five wide. He's going to try and scramble. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. That is great tough football right there. Getting down to the goal line and just punching it in. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he tacks on the extra point. Keller looks ready to kick this one off. From his own goal line, he's to the 20. Tackle at the 26-yard line. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You got to make every possession count. Catches it, but he steps out. He would have been better off letting that one go. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. tackled at about the 25 yard line. Wide open receiver and it's incomplete. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. Wilson fields at the 31, and he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clinch up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. Run and he's brought down. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Got some open field. Fumble! And no one can get it. It bounces out of bounds. the 34 yard line first down empty backfield quarterback in the gun five wide receivers hands it off they'll bring him down right around the 26 yard line Inside the 10. Touchdown, Kansas! Oh, my, what a run that was. Oh, I'll tell you what, this kid is incredible. He's got the moves, the speed, the power. He's the total package. That is a clutch touchdown. Tie game, and they find a way to put it in for six. I know there's a lot of time left, but that was a big one. And he converts the extra point. Kansas is ready to kick it away. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 30-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. 
But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That brings him second and five. From their own 35-yard line. Second down. Straight up the middle, and he'll lose yardage. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. Wilson is back deep to return the punt. Oh, excellent punt. And he's taken down at the 30. Jayhawks staff, I think, has done a remarkable job, not only in the first half, but now here in the third quarter. They're just making every adjustment that the, they can make, and everything's working for them. So yeah, they've done a really good job of adjusting their game plan. I think everybody anticipated them throwing the football, and this quarterback being the star of the game. But they recognize the defenses, and they've run the football, and up to this point, it's worked out for them. From their own 34-yard line, second down. Kansas is up seven. Neal gets six yards on the play. Seven-yard line. From their own 47-yard line, it's first down. So at the end of the third quarter, the Jayhawks lead 17-10. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. They run it left. He's tackled right around the 48-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. Yeah, it was a short gain, but a nice tackle there by the junior who stepped up in traffic and made a nice play. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 48. Here we go. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. You're not going to see this very often from this running back. He just got gobbled up pretty deep in the backfield. They come out in an empty backfield. <laughs> Zips it left. Hauls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. Looked like both sides tried to get away with some shoving while the ball was in the air. Here's the call. It'll be third down again after that penalty. Yeah, now they have more yards to pick up for the first down. Third and long here, and they hope to convert another one and keep this drive going. Kansas up seven points. Throws a strike over the middle, and he's taken down at the 46. He'll try to change the field position and especially not get it to the end zone. Oh, 
This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Run left side. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's good to have five yards. That brings him second and five. We've got a second and five. Ball on their own 25. Black five, black five. Three and eight. Go, 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 go. And he tackles him hard at the 25. it out to the right to the halfback. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. And this one is a beauty. Wilson fields it at the 22, and down he goes to the 39-yard line. The Jayhawks star player can walk around campus happy all week, even though he didn't have the kind of game he's used to have. Well, he didn't put up big numbers, but he recognized the defense trying to spend so much time taking him in the passing game away from this offense. By recognizing that, he's been able to utilize his running game, and it's been the difference in the football game. Tackle made right around the 40. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on their own 40. Kansas is up a score. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Flips it middle to the running back. And they make the stop around the 43-yard line. They get a one-yard loss on that one. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. Brooks is back to receive. He makes it to the 28-yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. He's taken down around the 41-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. Gets it out quickly. Brought down around the 45-yard line. That makes it second and six. Second and six. Ball on the 45-yard line. Now he's flushed and they got him. Get it inside the 49. 
Throws this one out to the left. This one is incomplete. And the defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. Wilson, back to return it. He really got a hold of that one. And he's tackled at the 16. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Kansas is up by a touchdown. Throws it in a hurry. That's a great tackle at the 36-yard line. and 10, all on their own 36. Arner gets a carry right side, and down he goes at the 46-yard line. Spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Laterals back, and he's got space. Down the sideline. And he's finally taken down at the nine. to go up two touchdowns here. And he is drilled at the eight-yard line. Gain of one yard. That brings him second in goal. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. And he hits him hard at the five yard line. Clifton brings him down at the five yard line. That makes his third and goal. From the five yard line, third down. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. And he's level at the three. A yard, maybe two on the carry. Kansas State just took their first time out. The kick is up, and he's got it. And that was a crucial kick, and it very well could end up being the difference in the game. Keller looks ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Fires out to his receiver. And he's tackled at the 36. Call it a gain of 10 yards. That'll make it second and inches. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. They'll bring him down around the 46-yard line. Rose falling back and finds his man. Tackle at the 45-yard line. That brings up second and 
Fired quickly, and he's got his man. He's tackled at the 40. Kill, kill, kill. Yellow, three. The 40 yard Yellow, three. First down. Red two. And he's taken down around the 36-yard line. These short, effective passes are going to help the quarterback's confidence. From the 36-yard line, second down. Fires to his tight end, nothing doing. Under a minute left in the game. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. Knocked out of bounds at the 31-yard line. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. Ward on the inside handoff. Nice run, and he's brought down. He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Pass tight end, and he wasn't ready for it. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. It's up, looks long enough, and he nails the long field goal. So the offense will take over with pretty good field position. The onside so kick just wasn't successful there. The kicker really didn't give his guys a chance to make a play. The whistle hasn't sounded yet. They still have to snap the ball and make sure they don't make any mistakes. He takes a knee. Kansas State's called their final timeout. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. And he'll just take a knee here to kill the clock. So this one's final. Very well played by both teams today. 2013 Jayhawks. Let's get Kirk Herbstreit's final thoughts on this one. Herbie, what do you got for us? Kansas comes away with bragging rights this year, and I'm sure the fans and students will enjoy it just as much as the players. They were the better team today and added another great chapter to this rivalry. That wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.